Hi guys, well it's Kate here from Isilicious Designs and today I'm just going to show you a little bit about bracelet.book.com which as you can see is here. Now a lot of people have been saying they haven't actually worked out how they can find the different patterns um, or how to even make their own so I thought I would show you. First of all, when you're looking for a pattern the easiest way to do it is to click on this menu here and go to Alpha and then you can put a matching word like flag or something like that um, if you wanted to look for something specific or cat um, if you want to look for a cat now strings would be how many pegs you're looking at so if you're doing a small mural you would go from say two strings to 12 strings so take this up and this would be set to 12 or 13 pegs uh, or strings so that is what you're looking at I usually go to 13 but 12 is fine then you would set filter and click on it and it will find anything that has to do with a cat that is 12 long here or high here it really doesn't matter the length of it because you just keep going okay so this is how you find all the different ones this is the important one if you were doing two looms or you know something like that you'd be looking at 24 and then you would filter okay and then as you can see you get something that has a lot more definition but if you look here at this particular one there you go that's how many you would need width wise and that's how long you would make it now the difference between having it as an alpha and having it let's see if they give us back our here we go as an alpha or as normal I believe normal will show us the ones where it looks like these which does not line up with your loom properly okay so that's why I tend to use the alpha setting for that and then it's only going to show me the ones that I want now if you want to actually import your own picture and and graph it and that's what I call putting the, the lines on it graphing it you need to register registering is free so just register and then what you do is go up here to add or edit pattern okay and you click on that you have some options here so what I have been doing is going alpha from image which is this one with the skull and crossbones click on that and I believe this is only open to people that are registered we'll pick how many colors you want we'll say 10 now the maximum height and width depends on what size loom you've got the important part this is your width that doesn't really matter but your height is going to matter so if you're using a single loom it's going to be 12 you can turn these on or off as you need to and you save and preview it will then show you what this picture is going to look like and as you can see it's not very detailed if you wanted to make it so it is more detailed try changing you might want that to go up to 24 which would be two looms as you can see there's a little bit more detail there if you put it to a hundred there you have a lot more detail and um, what you can also do is click here on this link and it will let you edit by putting these colors in yourself or you can take away some of the lines at the top here so if you were taking some of the lines away from the top or from the side you plus or minus from here minus from here to make it shorter you see how things are beginning to look so it changes and then if you want to click if you want to change a color if you wanted these for example to be a different color and I know they're not but I'm just showing you you click on the color that you want and you see it changes up here and then you click on the squares that you want to make the changes to if you want to put that back to what it was click on another color and you click on the squares now when you're ready to actually print this out um, there is a snippet tool that you can find it looks like this and you can say new and then you highlight what you want to snip it and then you save it okay? so that is how you would do that 
So I hope that makes things a little bit clearer for you. Um, good luck with it.